What do you got there? <laughs> that was a bad pitch. Hey, uh, once in a blue moon in Rockville, a very special motorcycle shows up. A one owner, low mileage, pristine. Superbly maintained example shows up. Well, it must be a blue moon today because this is the Von Hepler VTX 1300. Mr. Von Hepler is a long-term client of Jeff Castine from All Sport Cycles. In fact, he bought this bike brand new and Jeff's maintained it for him since it was brand new. Rather than bring it to the dealership, he bought it to Jeff. Jeff owns All Sport Cycles. Jeff is a world-class mechanic who works here three days a week now and four days up at his shop. And he knows the history of this bike. Today, he told me that Mr. Hepler uh, called him up and said, listen, I'm 79 years old. I've had this bike since I was in my in my late 60s. I think it was 67 when he bought it, and it was time to let it go. He's just getting up there in years, and he hasn't been riding it much. He averaged 400 miles a year, folks. This bike has 5,500 miles on it, and it's absolutely pristine mint condition. Uh, the bike itself, new out the door, was around 10.5, and it's got another $1,500 worth of extras into it, so he's got around $12,000 wrapped up in it. It's got the top-of-the-line leather bags on here, uh, a nice oversized windshield which blocks the wind beautifully and it's also been dyno tuned by no, none other none other than jeff castine himself uh, why would he dyno tune it well they come very lean from the factory so he actually dismantled the carburetor and micro drilled the pilot jet so it runs they, they come too lean from the factory so he set the jetting on it and then dyno tuned it and it starts up with with no choke required and idles perfectly beautiful even when it's cold it also has the backrest right here too. This is a beautiful Honda Line accessory also. This is uh, a um, probably a $300 item also. So the original paint is in absolutely impeccable condition as is the chrome. And he also has a beautiful set of, uh, of uh, um, Pirelli uh, Night Dragon tires on here. The front tire is in absolutely uh, mint condition. Still has the hairy nubs on the side. And the drywalls, uh, are, the sidewalls look brand new. It's a Pirelli Night Dragon on the front and a brand new Pirelli tire on the rear too. The VTX 1300 looks, well, actually when this showed up, when the bike showed up this morning, I was like, wow, VTX 1800. I thought it was 1800 and Shane's like, no, it's a 1300. And I had to come up close and look. There's a small little badge on the tank here that says 1300 in small letters there and i was like yeah it's a 1300 so it's it's the little brother to the 1800 but it, it's it's got all the curb appeal of the 1800 at a fraction of the price if you're looking for a bike that's fun trouble free brilliant machine for riding all day riding it's fun it's it's uh they handle great it has a great suspension clutch transmission typical honda quality the fit and finish is uh perfect Everything works beautifully. Headlight, taillight, turn signals, everything on it like a brand new motorcycle because it's basically brand new. It's got 5,000 miles from the original owner. Uh, oh, at one part I left out about the bike. The, uh, before I forget, I want to tell you that Jeff Castine also, not only did he, did he service this bike every year, he stored it. Jeff does motorcycle storage in the winter. So Mr. Hepler would drop this off in the winter. Jeff would wash it and uh, put it in his heated facility. So uh, it never never has been in a fr frozen environment since it was new. A lot of people put these out in the garage where the temperature fluctuates and the carburetors get all messed up and the chrome gets messed up. Not this one. This Jeff stores vintage classic cars and motorcycles at his warehouse. And you can see the chrome on this thing. If you zo Kenny, you gotta, zoom, you gotta zoom in real close to the motor here. Look at the original factory paint on it. It has like a golden hue to it. The chrome on the thing's absolutely impeccable. It's raining out a little bit, so there's a couple spots on it, but um, the thing, you know, I don't think Mr. Hepler ever, it's probably the first time it's ever been out in the rain. It's just drizzling out a little bit earlier. Look, look at the shine on the paint, the chrome, the, um, if, if you, you got you to get in real close to appreciate how nice the finishes are, like on the front forks. The, the, uh, they're not all pitted and everything. In the front of the frame here, the paint looks like it just came out of the box. 5,000 miles from a 79-year-old guy owned this guy, so, I mean, um, he bought it when he, was, when he was 67, so he wasn't some some young hotshot out drinking and doing hole shots in front of his buddies. I mean, this is adult own. Listen to the motor. Virtually silent, no valve. Sounds awesome.
A lot of people take these things and they, and they bastardize them by putting those real gnarly, loud Cobra tires on, I mean Cobra exhaust on them, and they, they sound horrendous. The Prelli tire on the rear still got the hairy nubs on it. So, yeah, these are brand new Pirelli tires, front and rear installed by Jeff. $500 option, less than 400 miles on the Pirelli tires. All the fluids have been changed. The oil, it's got, we added VP, non-ethanol fuel in it. The, the, the brake fluid's been changed, front and rear. Um, you know, Je Jeff went right through the thing. The, the saddlebags are like brand new. Check out the saddlebags, Kenny. Look at these things. It doesn't, it doesn't, they still smell brand new. Um, look, look inside here. You gotta, usually you see people's saddlebags and all crusty and they have all kinds of. And they got all their garbage in it. All the, yeah, this thing's like it, like it never was used. I mean, let, let's face it, I mean, he was, Seven nine years old. He, he loved the bike, and he had it maintained by Jeff every year. Detailed, washed, clean, polished. This is exactly the way it came, though. So we didn't have to do anything to it. We just rolled it into the showroom. We're like, what, what, you know, we well, did bring it down to detail shop, and they're like, well, what do you want me to do? It's perfect. You're on a Dave Ramsey kick, you know. Uh, how how much is the most you paid for a pair of blue jeans? Uh that would be uh, sixty-two dollars. <laughs> and that's why you bought this Honda BTX. Yeah, because you'll line Levi's are 60 bucks now. They're, they're getting up there. Bulletproof Honda quality. Look at look at the look at the speedometer on this thing. It has like a red backlight on there. 5,568 miles. Of course, traditional Honda quality. Everything works perfect. Let's do a drive by on it. I was driving up the hill thinking, why on God's green earth would you spend $13,000 on a new one when you could buy this thing, which is virtually brand new with 5,000 miles on it? Think about it. I mean, a car with 5,000 miles is, is considered brand new. And this is like not even ready for its first oil change. This thing's got more wax on it than a candle. It was owned by a 79-year-old guy who was obsessed with it and had it professionally maintained for a fraction of the money. It's just what you're gonna save on property taxes in the uh, interest on a loan and registration and insurance too. Insurance is going to be a lot cheaper on this than it's going to be on a brand new $13,000 bike. So Mr. Von Hepner had his fun with it. He invested his thirteen grand into it and you can buy it for a fraction of that. And you know what? When you go to sell it three years down the road, it's going to be worth pretty much the same as you pay for it now because it's been fully depreciated. That's a beauty of buying a bike that's 10 or 12 years old with no miles on it. You get a brand new motorcycle basically for free. It's like free transportation if you take care of it. Just a beautiful piece. It does have a couple of slight blemishes in the paint. I guess I talked to Jeff. He said his lawn, he was backing his lawnmower up in the driveway or something like that in, uh, I mean in the garage and it scratched the front fender. There's no dent, just a little scratch. I'll call that a beauty mark. That's your, I saved $10,000 off the price of new beauty mark that no one's ever gonna even notice unless you tell them about it. And Junior said that there was a nick in the rear fender. I didn't see it. But like I said, the motor looks brand new on this bike, as does the gas tank, all the chrome. It's absolutely freaking pristine. A once in a blue moon special, folks. And it's a Honda. You say you meet the, the nicest people on a Honda, I always say you meet the smartest people on a Honda. And the happiest are the ones having a blast. And they're all pissed off because their bike's breaking down. <laughs> Thank you.
in closing, I guess I'll say, if you can find a nicer bike for the money, buy it. <laughs> because this thing's an excellent value. The VTX has a very unique muscle, muscle bike kind of look with the deep balanced, balanced front fender, the long teardrop tank, the big V-twin motor, the deep dark victory red paint job with the gold hue on the motor and the, and the bright chrome and the black leather. The windshield too, this thing, this is a pretty big windshield. It, it gives you as much uh, wind protection as you'd get from a, 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 a full touring bike, like a gold wing, because it goes from all the way down here, all the way up, but it's see-through, so it doesn't really dominate the, the um, facade of the bike. It kind of disappears. You hear the electric fan kick on there? Yeah, did I mention it's liquid cooled? That's the fan, because we're running it. No air running over it. Smarter than I am. Disc brake. In the front, it's a, a twin piston disc brake, dual shocks in the rear. Nice and comfy, and you know what? Your wife's gonna love you for it because she's not gonna fly off the back when you hit the throttle, and you can put all her stuff in the bags. You can definitely you can definitely pack enough for a weekend trip on this, and you can, they make bags. I have one, I have a black leather one somewhere around here uh, for my Harley that goes over the backrest, so you can do a back, a leather um, luggage on the back, so. If you have any questions, give us a call, 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. It's a beautiful piece. Definitely Kaplan America approved. And uh, it's definitely good for another 20, 30 years of fun. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.